esto es un paper que intentamos enviar para el final de mes. Está Samuel, que el año que viene va al mercado, con lo cual tiene todos los incentivos para, para echarlo. Eh, yo, que vamos, cuanto, 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 más, cuanto más municiones tengo para la, la solici la, las solicitudes que quiero de, 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 de acreditación es mejor. Y Francesco, que entre, entre comillas es un, poco, está, es un poco más relajado de todos. Eh, con lo cual eh, me he colado en, en el hueco de, que había para intentar un poco tener algo de debugging. El, eh, el título es sobre luz, eh, una, una luz de un, un rayo de sol, eh, y básicamente va sobre la relación entre media, turismo y desarrollo económico. ¿vale? He puesto así un poco como mis diapositivas de clases, comentarios en, uh, en la marcha. Eh, Francesco, y, Francesco y Samuel prefieren a Beam of Light. A mí me gustaría que en el título estuviese Sicily. Eh, entre otras razones, porque el paper es 100% on Sicily. It's a, it's a happy ending paper. Eh, y eh, lo and behold, eh, en, las, en las venas de Francesco y mías eh, fluye sangre siciliano. De ahí un poco, de ahí un poco la idea. Yo os contaré un poco dónde donde se nos, se nos ocurrió esto. Yo diría que el resto lo, lo, lo hago en, en, en inglés, nada más porque, vamos, si estoy acostumbrado a escribir, a escribir en inglés, las diapositivas están en inglés y en castellano sueno más patoso que, que lo normal. Right, so, uh, here the big picture is to try to uh, establish a link to quantify the relevance of media for tourism and development, okay? And as we all know, three variables are, are too many for a sensible uh, econometric model. So we need to um, uh, we need to think through uh, carefully how to establish a link between tourism and development, and how media can play a role in helping us to get a handle to um, establish a relationship between tourism and development. Okay, ideally a causal relationship. Here you have a, a, a bit of uh, a bit of hand waving, a bit of uh, illustrations about uh, why um, media and tourism are related. Um, on the left hand side, uh, on the top left, you see the, the Petra site in Jordan, where Indiana Jones was shot middle uh, middle row the beach which i must admit is a movie by dicaprio i have not uh, i have not seen which uh, my co-authors tell me has been shot on uh, beautiful thai beaches and uh, uh, low and be uh, at the bottom uh, at the bottom on the bottom row is uh, uh, the cover the cover of lord of the rings which was shot Uh, at least in part in, on the mountains of New Zealand, if I remember correct. So, uh, at least anecdotically, there seems to be uh, a relationship between uh, media and, uh, sorry, between, uh, let me get this straight, between media and the popularity of, uh, of, um, of tourist resorts. However, it is unclear whether it is tourism that attracts media or media that attracts tourism. Okay, so so far development is in the background. And we'll try to be we'll try to be more precise about uh, about uh, this. So as I previewed, the, there is large anecdotal uh, and correlational evidence on the positive relationship between media and tourism. Okay. Uh, all law in, 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 in an array of disciplines in social science, uh, sociology, uh, urban studies. Uh, one of our aims is to establish a causal relationship. Okay, And why? Because the big picture is to try to see um, whether it tourism, which can be thought as an endowment, uh, capital endowment of, uh, of a country, um, whether it can play a role in the production function, function of this country, okay? Uh, i.e. whether it can boost its, um, its, uh, its economy. Okay, so 
uh, here is the first link between media and tourism. And secondly, the big, as I pre ever, as I pre the, the big picture is to understand whether there is a positive relationship between tourism and development, uh, whether this relationship can be claimed to be causal, and why do we care about that? Because um, this, the, the, our evidence can ideally inform uh, policy makers uh, aiming at boosting development via tur tourism uh, by way of subsidizing um, good practice, okay? Uh, for example, uh, um, tourism is uh, uh, a relatively abundant uh, endowment in the Mediterranean area. However, uh, just thinking about uh, nice, uh, um, tourist locations we we may have visited across the Mediterranean, they are typically, if you exclude, for example, Catalonia, they are typically associated with um, low growth, okay? Uh, or perhaps uh, growth below what uh, uh, can be potential. So here is our uh, roadmap to, uh, to establish a causal link between media and tourism and to try to convince you that uh, uh, through a shock in media that impacts tourism, uh, only, um, and only indirectly development, we can establish the causal, a causal link between tourism and development, okay? So what we have, in, what, uh, to, to, be, to be super clear and put uh, all our uh, technology on the table, which is very, very simple, We'll try to find um, an exogenous variation in media, which has an impact on, on tourism. Um, and uh, tourism, in turn, may or may not uh, um, yeah, shock development. Okay. And I'm trying to be, uh, I'll be, I'll, I'll be more precise about it. To give you a preview, Montalbano, the shooting of the Montalbano series, which is a, a TV series I'll, I'll, I'll explain, I'll, I'll, I'll give you details about. Is, uh, our, is our smoking gun here. So again, why, what, what, what are the examples of uh, the, mag what, so can, can we give a magnitude, so sorry, so, uh, a bit uh, of the relationship between uh, media and uh, um, tourism without much on development, because this is, this is hard to quantify, and that is what we try to do. Um, there are there is evidence of territorial spending or shooting subsidies, and I'm, just before the presentation, I tried to, to to quantify them by looking at some evidence which we have in the paper. For example, uh, millions of euros are tendered by the by the European Union to uh, attract uh, movie to, to to attract movie productions, and the similar uh, but more generous subsidies are available. For example, in Korea. And uh, the idea, our, our, in a way, uh, zenith is uh, to try to uncover, if any, the, the economic rationale between these, uh, these subsidies. Okay, are they worth, or should we instead be considering alternative, uh, alternative uses of, of these subsidies? So, in a, um, in a, in a nutshell, our paper is about uh, exploiting. The staggered relationship, sorry, the staggered international release of, of an Italian TV series, which shocks tourism and only indirectly as a as a kick on uh, on development. Just to make sure, am I connected? Yes. Are there any questions? No. Good. Just just to avoid the embarrassing situation of talking. To your or giving a talk to your PC only. Good. So the first of uh, um, of our of our two objectives is to link uh, the impact of um, the release of media, the release of a series by media on tourist flows, okay, and the associated expenditure. And the way we do it, we do it is a is a is a very is a with a very simple diff and diff, uh, in which we compare outcomes, say tourist inflows, from tourists coming from countries 
which have been exposed to the series relative to countries in which the series was not been was not released at a given point in time okay and the inflow of such such tourists can be uh, in treated municipalities i.e municipalities in which the series was staged versus control municipalities in which uh, this series was not staged okay and uh, the, 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 the the missing dimension is the before and after okay so we're going to have treated countries uh, and municipalities before and after the treatment okay and control before and after the treatment and um, Step two is to uh, quantify the impact of expenditure on local development, okay? Which we proxy by municipal income, like taxable income, and uh, supply side, okay, firms. Uh, how do we do? How do we oper How do we operationalize our second objective by uh, a simple heavy strategy? in which uh, the share of countries in where the tv series was released as a as a, um, as a share of total um, is an instrument of expenditure okay with uh, where, where, and you can the, the idea is to um, to increase exogenous expenditure how mm, the more the greater the share of the total country in which a series will be released by the end of our time period, the greater the share of countries, arguably the higher the uh, tourist expenditure. Marcelo, just one question. Under, uh, under the assumption. Marcelo? Please. Yes. A share? Please go ahead. Uh, what do you mean? A share of what? Of the total countries which are treated by uh, okay. the end of our sample, which is. Uh, 2000 to okay, 2017 okay. okay so the, the greater the share the more the, the higher the tourist expenditure in okay. in the treaty municipalities okay, thank you. okay. however this, this question is super uh, is, is super enlightening uh, in that uh, um, this is not uh, this, this is where our our ad hoc or um, yeah, where our ad hoc uh, empirical specification is is not um, say crystal crystal clear to any knowledgeable economist with a, say uh, an undergrad degree. If you read a little bit more in detail um, the paper, you get the idea. But uh, in a way, we've been struggling to uh, find to to come up with the right functional form for an instrument which intuitively the more people worldwide watch the series the more uh, people are going to consider visiting the beautiful beaches of southern sicily okay however um, given the the empirical setting which is not a standard diff in diff with two periods but is a panel over 17 over sorry uh, with over um with 40 countries and 390 municipalities over 17 years uh, then matters are not uh, are not that uh, that trivial and, I, and i'll tell you and i'll tell you shortly shortly where where i'm heading to what, what I mean exactly with uh, with the, the nitty gritty of the econometrics of our economic specification. So, uh, two are the main contributions. The first, uh, trying to aim at the, at the big picture, is to assess the impact of tourism development. There's a lot of correlation. There's a lot of correlational talks out there. You know, there should be more tourists here and there. Uh, it's it's a typical. Um, it's a typical chat uh, um, among friends when you are in a beautiful resort and uh, somewhere in the back of your mind you you have a feeling that it is underexploited with respect to to its potential. 
However, uh, serious uh, analysis, serious, serious qu uh, quantitative analysis are, um, in our humble opinion, uh, uh, where when when scanning the literature in need, and uh, more closely, uh, so more specifically, more specifically. Uh, this is point one. Sorry, point two. When we look more specifically at the at the literature on uh, the impact of media, um, media and politics have been uh, the, the relationship between media and politics has been highlighted uh, and heavily studied. While the relationship between media and tourism is a less uh, uh, is a less developed one, to which we try to contribute with our grain of uh, sand. So let me briefly uh, talk you through the literature. Uh, as I previewed, there is uh, um, a, a quite abundant number of studies uh, in different areas of uh, social science on the relationship between medium and tourism, mainly correlational. Um, among the, the, the studies in econ, two stand, and they are the closest uh, to ours, um, a, a couple, the two, two, two economists um, who are, I can't remember, they were in Torino at the Collegio Carlo Alberto, I think they now, they now moved to the UK, um, have, a, have a fun paper on the effect of media on tourism and the way they tackle the question empirically is as follows. Um, they um, design a field experiment in which they exogenously vary the content of Wikipedia pages of Spanish municipalities, okay? Take uh, two Spanish municipalities, they, cho they choose randomly which one of the two um, is the one uh, for which they're going to alter, alter, modify, enhance, enrich its Wikipedia page. Okay, and they then study the effect of uh, uh, exogenously altering the Wikipedia content of only one of the two municipalities, the, the one in the treated group, to assess differences in uh, the number of hotel stays. And um, uh, beep, 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 fine, yes, uh, the other related the highly related paper to ours is uh, one by Besley and co-authors on the negative impact of uh, news about terrorism 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 attacks okay on uh, on tourism the idea is that attacks are um, somewhat random uh, at least with respect to the de uh, the decision to to, to, visit a, to visit a given country and news uh, are used as uh, um, I used to amplify the effect of uh, uh, attacks on tourism okay uh, and the, 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 strategy, the strategy here is to um, to exploit that part of, uh, of variation uh, across countries, in which, uh, because in some countries, uh, the news coverage is more focused on, say, the Middle East versus Africa. And this is what buys, uh, best, what buys identification strategy. What do we, how do we contribute to these studies? We look at one special type of media, which is entertainment media, different from Besley, who looks at terrorist attacks, and Inno Saritale, who look at, uh, um, Tourist, tourist uh, guides, okay, online. And we believe that um, media and all the creative process behind uh, are, more in, are more policy relevant in that uh, uh, they offer a, a much richer narrative to boost tourism, tourism than just adding pictures and or content to to Wikipedia, to Wikipedia pages. Uh, first, first set of papers we contribute to. Uh, second set, which contains one element, because it is a very hard 
job to um, write a model which relates tourism and development. This is what uh, Faber and Gobert do. Uh, their great effort has been uh, rewarded with a publication of the AR, and they have a, a very, very micro, very, very carefully micro grounded mo uh, structure model in which they look at the economic impact of uh, tourism, tourist attractiveness on local development. And uh, with their with their rich model, what they can do is to look uh, very, very carefully at the complementarities versus subsid substitutability between uh, uh, tourist endowment, uh, sorry, tourism endowment, labor and capital endowments of, uh, of a given municipality. And to, gi to give you a, a slightly further insight about the paper, the paper is very rich in the theory uh, and the predictions are tested using data on Mexico in which the exogenous, the source of exogenous variation is the extent of um, uh, attractiveness of different municipalities, which is predetermined, okay? Uh, say Mexico's, what's his name? Uh, Teotihuacan, uh, the, the pyramids are richer in, uh, and the municipality they belong to are richer in, in uh, tourism endowment than uh, a neighboring municipality, okay, which is a predetermined characteristic and it is less prone to uh, be exploited as such um, using a, um, an IV strategy close to ours, in which ideally we, you, want to, um, you want to put in the spotlight, in the media spotlight, only one of two municipalities who, which are otherwise similar, okay? So our contribution here is to, is to first try to tackle uh, a very important question on the, on the, on the relationship between input, uh, an input like tourism, which, is, which for, falls partly in, uh, in, um, in the definition of capital, uh, partly in the definition of labor uh, and development. And uh, secondly, to uh, use a ideally credible uh, time-varying instrument for tourism, rather than looking at two cities, two municipalities which are consider considerably different in their um, in their endowments. Okay, in in, I, in their baseline characteristics or predetermined characteristics. Any questions? You're here. Good. So let's locate Sicily in the in the map of Europe. It's at the bottom of Italy, the shoeish of, of Italy. And uh, just to give you um, some, some background, its population is about five million people. It's, it's about five million. It is a fairly a fairly large area, and uh, um, it accounts for it's uh, it accounts for five percent of uh, Italian GDP. Okay which when you relate with the population makes it um, one of uh, the least productive uh, regions per capita because italy has about 60 million people so if you do the if you do the uh, the algebra it has five percent of uh, gdp and about ten uh, percent of ten uh, percent of population mm, about, yeah about that PPPP, uh, so in PPP terms, it is uh, very low and in, in Italy and uh, it, uh, it's the, the neighboring, the neighboring, the, the neighbor, if you compare it with neighboring countries uh, like Cyprus, it doesn't, uh, uh, it, is, it is not in a, in a club of highly productive uh, uh, regions. Just to give you uh, some super, super quick background, it is uh, um, a region which has attracted uh, a lot of uh, subsidies, mainly to, um, mainly to, to mainly for manufacturing. Uh, there's uh, tales of uh, beautiful beaches uh, where uh, car the, the, the Fiat uh, national car manufactured open plants. Uh, which have been only lately closed, and uh, therefore you don't need to be a, um, a rocket science economist to cast doubts on 
the on its impact. What about tourism? Uh, if you've been to Sicily, uh, you, you have a clear idea. If you haven't, I, I suggest you to go and let's uh, let's chat over a coffee about uh, about tips. Um, the potential is fairly large, given its small climate and uh, coastal coastal areas, plus its uh, hugely rich cultural heritage, which is well shared with uh, with the Spanish one, particularly south the southern the southern coast. And uh, tourism is does not score high in the in its local in its local economy. So let's back to the to the let's get to the empirical strategy. The Montalbano TV series, if you're not an addict or series of or the series of books, is an adaptation of novels by a, a prolific Sicilian writer, Andrea Camilleri, who has recently passed away. And uh, curiously, this guy has worked all his career in uh, as a um, as a script writer in the national TV. Okay, and has started producing um, world famous what what are uh, what have become world famous novels, and then. Uh, been turned into a TV series, in a way as a byproduct of his work as scriptwriter for for the TV. Okay, what it is, what is the, what are the novels and the series about? Uh, about a police detective who lives in a fictional sea town of Sicily, and uh, in addition to solving crimes, the guy is depicted in his uh, in his daily life. Okay. Uh, to give you some idea about the accounting of the series, it is a fairly uh, low cost series, okay? Uh, with respect, for example, to its uh, its famous, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, to the to its famous competitor, Games of Thrones. A few shots from the series. Uh, top left, uh, Montalbano having coffee before before work, lunch. And uh, uh, famous places where he where he hangs out uh, for coffee. Not not far from the what's it called from the coffee's office. So where about in Sicily is uh, the seer shot uh, in the south uh, east end? Okay, if you've been to Sicily, Palermo is the main airport you where you land. Uh, um, second, so in first, se second to it is uh, Catania. This is the this is the tip linking the, the sea. This is the little sea strip dividing uh, mainland from uh, from so divide, right, Sicily from from mainland. Siracusa uh, and Taormina are Taormina is a little bit further up. The the the, the big the, so the, the, the the pearls of uh, uh, high profile tourists are on the east on the eastern coast instead the, the southern coast has been uh, um, typically has been historically relatively poor okay with uh, the particularly main with uh, what's, with the provinces of Enna and Caltanissetta fairly fairly mountainous uh, provinces still scoring high for um, low um, health standards uh, within uh, within the region, and uh, the southern coast uh, with the, the provinces of Agrigento and Ragusa have only very lately uh, hit uh, entered the spot, become uh, joined the spotlight. Okay, been put in the spotlight. So here are the five main locations, uh, and uh, if you want to put them in perspective. The, the the dark blue locations are, are the municipalities where the series is shot. The light blue ones are uh, neighboring municipalities in the same province. Okay, and the remaining the, the remaining municipalities are the the super super light blue. Okay, so the dupe the, the in terms of our economic specification, which comes with a single equation in. The next couple of slides, uh, the, the the dark blue municipalities are the, treat, the treated ones. The the lighter blue ones are the control ones, okay. The the, the core controls and all the additional controls are the the rest of municipalities in 
in Sicily. If you if you if you ask yourself what uh, this um, this circle with uh, diameters here and there, it's a uh, it's a volcano, yet a volcano. Why do I mention these three groups? Because when we focus on the two darkest sets, the treated and the controls, I won't I won't show them, but the, the, um, for the sake of brevity, but demographical and geographical as well as economic uh, variables are balanced. Okay, meaning as so offering support to our claim that uh, um, the locations to shoot the series um, was not uh, based on demographic, geographical, or uh, economic uh, criteria, okay? When we compare the dark blue with uh, uh, neighboring municipalities, okay? In slightly lighter uh, blue. Okay, so let me give you um, some, um, some illustration of the, diff the, the the triple difference okay uh, the the four the four um, figures show on the y-axis on the vertical axis the average number of tourists okay and the two bars measure uh, are a measure of the number of tourists in 2000 the green one versus uh, in 2017, the orange one. Okay, the four figures uh, compare the change in the average in the average number of tourists in 2017 versus 2000 for different con for four different groups. Top left, control municipalities where the series was not shot, um, and control countries for control municipalities hosting. Um, Mm, I can do it. Um, tourists from control countries in which the series was not broadcasted. Okay. And we see the difference uh, before after is very, is very low. Okay. Top left, top right. Uh, the number of tourists from treated countries in which the series was broadcast in control municipalities 2017 versus 20, uh, 2000. Why 2000 and 2017? Because they are the, the extremes uh, of, uh, our, of our data sample. And because in 2000, the series was only, um, was only broadcasted in, uh, in Italy and perhaps one extra country, versus in 2017, the, the series is broadcasted in all the treated countries. Okay, let's look at the, at the, at the two bottom uh, at the two bottom figures. Bottom left, uh, the number of tourists from control countries in which the series was not broadcast in treated municipalities, and in, uh, and clearly you see uh, some spillovers from tourists going to visit Montalbani municipalities. Much more when uh, the series had been had become um, a mass a mass watch worldwide relative to 2000 although this the series was not available in the country uh, where the tourists came from however this is a relatively uh, small magnitude it's less than half uh, a magnitude then when we look at treated municipalities in treated countries okay where the jump uh, be after versus before is uh, is huge. This is uh, the spirit behind the, the different different the different different regressions, which uh, try to answer the to try to fulfill try to hit the, the first the first of our two targets: the relationship between media and uh, tourism. Okay, media before after and tourism. Uh, but, uh, on the, Marcello, on the axis. Marcello, how many countries yes. are the control? How many? About forty. It's it's about forty countries in total, Six. and uh, uh, the treated the treated countries go from zero to twenty, if I remember correctly. 
to zero countries in 2000, zero one to 20 in 2017 out of the 40. Let me let me let me be more precise in a couple of slides. If I remember correctly, I noted this this details down. Are you going to display the sample? No. Say it again. Yes, the, the, the data are coming are coming. I think in one slide. So here, just to give an idea uh, about a similar phenomenon, um, the increase after versus before. Um, on the on the y-axis you you have the what's his name the convention for uh the intensity of google searches okay which uh have been popularized as, as google trends it's um it's a search sorry it's a number of searches it's it's the prediction of a regression or uh, of the number of searches over country face effects okay and you can clearly see that uh, Montalbano, uh, the Montalbano, the Montalbano term, the Montalbano key has been searched much, much more frequently uh, in 2017 after the TV series released versus before. Okay. Same for Ragusa, the the name of the province in which uh, the shooting sites uh, are located, and for Vigata, which is the fictional name of uh, um, the um, of the town in which uh, uh, the, the inspector lives okay back to the data uh, hopefully in trying to address uh, uh, one of his point we have uh, three data sources which in which when we merge create our link database one is from the bank of italy when um, when uh, Francesco and I initially thought about the idea, uh, one, main, one main issue was uh, data availability. And we thought we were lucky enough to find uh, representative, uh, a representative survey under country of origin um, frontier level, which has been administered by the Bank of Italy, the, National Bank, the, the, the Central Bank, um, and uh, it's and it spans over a fairly uh, large time period okay and from this uh, uh, rich database we obtain the number of tourists and tourist expenditure okay it's oh it's it's survey uh, data so it is subject to measurement error however we we rely on the on the central bank doing all the due diligence steps necessary to make sure that the measurement error is as classical as uh, as possible okay and sorry, uh, marcello, sorry, to sorry. Complement. marcello one clarification uh, yes this number of, tu of tourists is for italy as a whole or or you have the disaggregation by no 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 the idea is is uh, um to to detail where the where the the choice is from but for where the whole for the, the whole Italy, for sicily no, or... no no where no 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 for the municipalities oh great okay at the municipality level yeah 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 okay great, great. this is uh, yes this is at the municipality at the municipality level yes we thought it was uh it was a mine uh, a gold mine for exactly for for this reason. Why? Because um, we are going to look at the municipality. Our two specifications are one at the country of origin municipality uh, time, and the other at the municipality time level. Okay. So um, this database was complemented by one which created by obtaining um, detail level data from triple advisor you can imagine uh, you can Im you, you can imagine how um, and uh, uh, this is the the, 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 the dark side of uh, of uh, an empirical economist life and uh, what we try to get is data on the universe of reviews in sicily hotels house rentals and this spans roughly from the same uh, um, from the same on, on this it, it spans across the same period <clears throat> and as before, we have data at the, in this case, hotel or hotel or house, municipality time uh, level. 
So all together, if you need a recap, just to just to build in your in your head the the panel, we have three hundred and ninety um, time observations for forty um, for forty for forty countries. Okay, and the three hundred and nineties are the twenty twenty seventeen times um, the number of uh, the number of months. Okay. So this is the first uh, the first two data sets or at the municipality um, country of origin at the country of origin municipality time level and we we merge this data set at the municipality time level with data on municipal income which is available publicly uh, and it is and the data is uh, administered by the Minister of, I think, Interior Affairs. Uh, we think, again, they did a great job because the number of firms and workers is uh, uh, disaggregated at the, um, at the economic activity area, which is uh, which we think is good to try and uh, address, to, to try and quantify the complementarity between uh, media, tourism, and different uh, uh, economic activities all right so our specification and i think there's two specifications two two tables of results and discussion uh, so 30 minutes should be should be should be well uh, should be well enough our um, outcome variable is uh, the number of tourists for the first uh, for the first specification coming from country c visiting municipality m at uh, in year month we try at the beginning to use year month because we we know uh, the the year the, the month and year in which um, the series the TV series was first broadcasted in a country. Uh, and if we only use if we aggregated this uh, uh, the number of tourists at the at the at the year level, we we may uh, in more in we may. We may be imprecise. Okay, we we may not exploit the full uh, disaggregation of uh, of the data. And our, um, our our sorry, our independent variable of of interest is uh, Adami, called Montalbano CMT because it is the same the same uh, level of disaggregation, country of origin, uh, municipality, time which is uh, equal to one um, if the product of two dummies is one okay and uh, the two dummies making the montalbano dummy are first uh, dummy equal to one if the series was released in country c at time t okay and zero otherwise tv series released and the second is uh, a dummy equal to one if a municipality uh, contains a Montalbano shooting location. Okay, or if a Montalbano shooting location is inside, is contained in the, uh, within a, is within a municipality boundary. Okay. So uh, here is where mm, the C, M, T, diff, in, diff, in, diff, triple diff disaggregation comes from. Okay. The product between the series being released in country C at time T and um, when we when, when we look at across different municipalities, uh, Montalbano series, uh, the Montalbano series is is, uh, is released in, in country C at time T, and we want to observe where the tourists are in a would flow into visit a municipality and whether this municipality is a Montalbano municipality or not to compare the flow into Montalbano municipalities versus non Montalbano municipalities. Okay. And so the specification very, very simply is uh, a panel in which uh, we absorb country municipality effects 
as well as uh, uh, year month effects. Okay. Importantly, we cluster standard errors at the local error level, uh, which again was defined by the, um, the National Statistical Office, which is uh, um, the institution which gave the central bank all the stratification uh, details which were needed to carry out the um, the, the tourist survey which uh, which a central bank created okay so in, in a way it was a joint effort and we believe that this clustering is the relevant one because um, it captures local um, it, it captures correlations uh, at local area level okay which may or may not coincide with municipality boundaries Right, first set of results. Um, the number of tourists in Montalbano municipalities after the release is uh, higher by uh, 57.9, okay? Versus, uh, versus either or mm, Montalbano municipalities in which the sea, uh, Sorry, either, either or uh, non what we call what we call Montalbano CMT, which are non Montalbano municipalities, or Montalbano municipalities before the series was was released. Okay. Look at the number of observations. It's about three millions. Why? Because um, our because our data set is as I said at the year month uh, level, and we have. That we consider as a separate uh, as a separate observation a pair country say for example spain uh, whose tourists go to see um Chicli, for example or vigata one of the one of the municipalities which uh, in which um yeah, the series was shot okay and uh, when we use only standard errors which correct for special correlations we get similar now in column two we get similar results when we use in column three a poisson model which uh, parsimoniously throws away observations um which are which are zeros uh which which exhibit zeros in the number of choice in the dependent variable which are due to the fact that uh, the na no tourists go to a municipality because uh, um, something structural is uh, is happening i.e there's no hotels for example so no tourists can can stay overnight what poisson does is uh, um, is using an algorithm with which throws away uh, about uh, to two million eight hundred three point three minus 0.8 is two point eight about two million two million eight hundred uh, thousand municipalities and is only left with this half a million which are according to the algorithm of the model uh, the ones which exhibit the greatest variability okay the greatest within variability uh, versus municipalities in which, particularly in the in the, in the dependent variable, the number of tourists, are municipalities in which the number of tourists fluctuates over time, with respect to being um, the same and close to zero over over time. How do we interpret this result when we look at uh, uh, magnitudes with respect? Um, by in the lens of the average outcome, which is the average number of uh, tourists in uh, series in sorry from from countries in which the TV series was released, TV equal to one, in non Montalbani municipalities, they are about a third of the the increase in the number of tourists in from countries in which the series was released 
in Montalbani municipalities, was released in Montalbani municipalities. Okay, so if uh, so, the, the thought experiment is if the juries from a country in which a series was were released went to a town um, to an additional town in which Montalban is released, I, if we switch mm from zero to one, how much would uh, the number of tourists uh, increase? Okay, by about 57. And in, in percentage terms, it would be about three times, which is a fairly big, uh, uh, which is a fairly big uh, figure. And that's why we try to be more parsimonious and look at uh, a, a slightly simpler model to, 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 part, to try to quantify the effect, the, the, the effect of tourists on development. I forgot to say that in the Poisson model, the estimates are to be interpreted in, um, in percentage terms. Okay, so 30% um, out of, for example, the, the baseline. Okay, any questions? Am I still online? Yes. So, if there are no questions, let's go directly to. We can skip to advisor. I would skip the the control group. I would look at. Uh, so, say I have a few minutes. Uh, let's have a look at uh, the crowding out versus positive spillover, which is an exercise which consists in using a treatment a treated municipalities in a given province okay excluding montalbano and, uh, and and in controls municipalities in southern uh, italian regions so here the hypothesis is uh, can does the the release of a theory series generates a crowd a crowding out i do we observe more tourists in the montalbano locations versus less tourists in non in in, in locations which are neither our treated nor in our control in the specification I, I i presented earlier or does the montalbano really does the series tv series release increase little, increase the, the tourists outside the treated and the control uh, and the control groups i.e does it lead to a positive spillover forget about column one uh, if you look at column two which is uh, um, which uses as a treated group a province which is on the left uh, end of sicily it the it seems to the, the positive and significant effect seems to suggest that the spillover is positive and this is and if you look at column eight catania which is to the right of uh, the shooting area the, to the right of uh, where our um, uh, where where our treatment treated municipalities are it also suggests a positive uh, spillover a positive spillover is also suggested for the province of Syracuse. okay so this, this is the type of, of exercise we we thought we would carry out uh, given the the main estimates on the effect of media on tourism right let's go to the second and last specification it's a couple of slides and discussion ideally we i, I won't still uh, uh I, I will try to to, to be as, as parsimonious as, as possible with time so now let's look at a specification in which we aggregate tourist expenditure um, as uh, the main regressor and uh, for example total taxable income as uh, the outcome of interest at the municipality year uh, level okay so before we had the same we, we had the uh, tourist expenditure which in the in the period specific in, in the first in the first specification was the independent the dependent variable sorry now becomes independent it was at the country of of origin municipality time here we aggregate by country of origin we sum across country of origins uh, by municipality and our aim here is to estimate uh, uh, the parameter beta which gives us the increase in 
for example, taxable income for municipality M at time T, given uh, the tourist expenditure, given, sorry, given a unit increase in tourist expenditure, okay? It is again a municipality time, uh, time panel, year panel, in which we absorb municipality and the year fixed effects. Okay, and we stand and we, as before, um, cluster standard errors uh, to account for local, local area, local economic uh, area interactions. In this regression alone, as we teach in uh, in econometrics, uh, beta as a causal the, sorry the, the estimate of beta as a causal interpretation if um, t the tourist expenditures is arguably exogenous i for example if there's no omitted variable which is associated with uh, with tourist, tourist expenditure okay so here comes the uh, the montalbano uh, the, Montal, the, the montalbano in the spotlight okay the the tv series release our argument for uh, the instrumental variable identification strategy is that uh, if uh, a country, sorry, if a municipality uh, uh, is exposed uh, to the TV series, its tourist, its tourist expenditure will be higher. Okay, so beta is, is positive. And so this is the first stage of the DAV strategy and the second stage is uh, is simply to in in a panel in a panel setting to use predicted uh, the predicted uh, the, the prediction from the first stage uh, in a non-linear setting to uh, uh, obtain an estimate of, to obtain an estimate of the effect of tourist expenditure on uh, local local development uh, which we proxy as the number of firms or total taxable tax, total taxable income, which you can which you can think of as the extensive versus intensive margin. Uh, notice that here, I guess uh, beta and the two betas in, in equation three and four are different parameters. Okay, so you can, you can think of alpha zero, alpha one for the for the first stage and beta, which is our our object of, of interest. So the estimates of the model are as follows if we uh, regress the our main equation the effect of uh, the of tourist expenditure te on uh, uh, total municipal income by or less an increase a unit increase in tourist expenditure increases municipal income by approximately 2.5 times okay so by 2.5 units since they're in euros, yeah, it's the same. If we instead instrument the choice expenditure with the share of uh, um, countries exposed at a given point in time to the series relative to the total, which will be exposed at the end of our time uh, time pan, time period, then uh, the estimates are about 10 times with respect to LS. Okay, so under our identification assumptions, OLS is downward biased, suggesting there is a um, there is a um, there is an omitted variable which is negatively related with uh, uh, with our um, regressor of, uh, of interest. So, how do we interpret estimates? Uh, first, let me tell you the first stage, which uh, uh, my co-authors are not too keen on uh, on reporting uh, in the in the main uh, in the main text. I a point one unit increase in the IV, okay, in the share of can of uh, of uh, countries treated increases the in increases tourist expenditure by. 1.45 um, million over 2.5 million, which is the average tourist expenditure. Okay. And um, so here, here's the first stage. The second stage, if you want to put the 22 in perspective, we reported uh, at the bottom of, uh, of the table the average outcome 
which is about uh, 108 uh, millions total municipal income average for the for our for our data sample and so 22 over 108 is about 20 percent okay so it would increase average uh so the the, the treatment would increase uh, total income with respect to the average by about 20 percent okay uh, if the is increased by a unit by a million euro okay so i guess i am i am done um, so just to wrap up we in our in, in our setting in which we try to understand the impact of the, the sorry the, the role of media in the important uh, uh, relationship between uh, tourism and development we find that income has a positive effect on tourism along with uh, a positive spillovers on other municipalities and when we look at the when we look at the big picture a one euro of tourism expenditure uh, uh, an additional euro of tourism expenditure leads to um, 22 additional euros of municipal income and I've, I've not reported, uh, I've not shown you the tables, but uh, when we look at taxpayers, um, I'd increase in taxpayers, what we call, what we thought, uh, what we thought as the intensive, uh, uh, the intensive margin, this uh, seems, uh, um, seems to be uh, higher across, uh, so, sorry, for um, taxpayers below 25, uh, 25 euros. 25,000 euros, I those um, who are uh, in the in the bottom in the bottom half of the distribution. And when we have not reported this, but we believe so sorry, sorry, there's evidence showing there's preliminary evidence showing uh, that the number of firms in uh, tourist and related sectors is higher when uh due to uh when in, in um, as, a, as a result as, as a result of the treatment as a result of the media of, of being put in the in the media spotlight by the tv release of the series and uh, the policy implications are are more or less uh, more or less clear as with as with all the caution of uh, a reduced form uh, econometric exercise we thought that uh, um, there is a rush in a way we our estimates offer support to um, policies of uh, so policies subsidizing um, territorial spending conditional on uh, um, on media production conditional on being in the media sector and that uh, perhaps we need to consider along other policy along with other policies um, tourism uh, from a from a slightly different angle with all the uh, with all the amplifying effect that media can can give to it and so here to give you just to give you an idea about uh, the, the 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 different uh, angles for which you can see Sicily these the the the, the top uh, the figures you know, on the top row are those of industrial Sicily, of industrial Sicily, uh, which turned out to be a failure uh, after a lot of money, uh, a lot of tax money was poured into it, um, and perhaps, and we, we we like to believe that our estimates suggest instead that uh, in Sicily, uh, in a Ricardo comparative advantage environment, uh, shines more for its uh, cultural heritage than. Uh, uh for its uh its product for the for the productivity of its of its of its manufacturing if there are questions i'm super 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 happy to take them hopefully i've not uh, gone too too far over time i think that elena has elena questions, questions. Uh, yes I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. can you hear me can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay. 
No, no please go ahead. You shared a very interesting paper. I have two two questions, not very related, the, 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 not very related uh, between them. The first one it refers to the, the um, uh, to treated and controlled uh, countries in the first stage of your analysis. I wonder how similar are these, these countries in terms of uh, tourism uh, flows, because your uh, key variable is the number of tourisms that can be uh, related to the, the size of the country and the size of tourism flows. I, 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 I think that you have a, a slide up with different um, uh, control uh, countries in, in uh, but but you skip this slide very quickly during the presentation, and the other one is uh, I, I understand that you want to to see the the impact of uh, of uh, media on development through uh, tourism, but I also wonder that uh, if uh, you can check whether there is a uh, in terms of the methodology that you use you can you can. Uh, try to, to to apply this different uh, in this um, methodology directly to the uh, or to your measure of uh, development, the taxable income of the municipality. I think it's not so, so interesting, but yes. Okay. So the question one: How similar are the Twitter and control and control countries? what uh, what we what we do is assessing whether the whether the municipality the, the, the treated and controlled municipalities are similar why because um, at the end of the day what uh, what we care is uh, whether um, our instrument uh, uh, the, the the location which was chosen um, the location of municipalities sorry whether the municipalities which were chosen for the series were similar to others which were close if uh, those municipalities which were chosen for the series for shooting were not similar then um, the the tourist inflows and the local development would be part uh, so would be due to amenities for example uh, in in treated versus control municipality which is a problem for uh, for us because the effect of the series will be concocted by an amenity effect and uh, uh, so you say why haven't you looked at the fact that uh, countries are similar to where, where the treated and controlled countries are similar. Um, because uh, our, at the end of the day, what matters to us is uh, if um, is whether the, um, the the municipalities are similar because that's where they the can that's where the tourists go. And this is what is shown in the and this, this is what is shown in the series. Um, you are concerned that different uh, tourists, the tourists from different countries may go to different, uh, to different places. Yeah, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand, I understand your, I understand your point. Just, just to give an idea, perhaps, let's, let me, let me try to answer this uh, another way. What we did, I haven't shown it, is uh, for, for brevity, is we restrict the, the set of countries to, we, we restrict the estimates to using only, uh, municip sorry, to using only juries from uh, countries within the EU, the European Union, okay? Which we believe as a set of more homogeneous uh, countries, economically speaking. And we get more or less, uh, the same results, perhaps a little. If I remember correctly, the point estimates are a little bit uh, are a little bit greater. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope this partially, at least partially, address your concern. So we take China out, we take Argentina out, uh, because these uh, these countries are different. Although we use uh, country fixed effects, uh, 
which can be municipal, which have fixed effects, which absorb at least the, the predetermined characteristics. Uh, I think at the end of the day, it, it's a, a matter of, uh, of clearly explaining what we can and what we cannot, uh, what we cannot do, uh, given what uh, our objective of interest is. Question two, have you tried to measure the direct impact of the Montalbano on taxable income? So you mean there are reduced form uh, instead of yeah. an IV? This is. Uh, I guess given the IV, given the IV and the, yes. given the IV and the first stage, you can obtain it. So mm -hmm. the, the IV is uh, the second stage over the first stage. Sorry, no, I, I said it incorrectly. The IV is, uh, uh is the itp over the first stage so we can we can back it up uh yeah it's a point yeah it's a point uh, mm -hmm. that i i'm going to write them both down because uh if you ask for them it's very likely that a referee is going to ask them <laughs> so mm -hmm. so why 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 not uh, yeah why not uh, having a look at them to to, to try to make our our package even as robust as possible mm -hmm. thank you so much uh, marcello may i have some comments Andres. yeah please okay uh, well first of Be all firm, but, uh, but gentle no i'm just kidding yeah 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 no, Tough but fair. no very nice work very interesting i think I think uh, there are a couple of, of problems with the, the estimations, I would say. In the OLS, yeah. if I understand it properly, in the OLS, uh, you are using a lot of uh, municipalities with zero tourists all the time because they don't have hotels. And these are the ones that... We use all of them. Sorry? We use all of them. Yeah, exactly. But in in, in this uh, set, there is a there are some that are unfeasible to they, they cannot have tourists, and these are the ones that uh, Poisson uh, kills or not. That's it. Right. Okay. So yes, I, yes, I, yes, yes, it's, yes. This is a this is a, I think this is a problem because uh, you know with the Poisson when you let's say pass the percentage to number of tourists, you have more or less. Uh, a bit lower than half of the effect you had before. So probably half of the effect is driven by municipalities that actually are not able to, to take tourists. So uh, maybe it's, I, uh, I yeah, have, it's, a, it's a good point. I have a couple of recommendations. Uh, here. It's a good, One it's recommend a good point. Uh, that's if, if, if I, if I, we've addressed it, the, my, my, my quarters were crazy about this. So we did Poisson everywhere. Yeah, the only but... problem with Poisson is that the uh, pan and Poisson fixed effect is uh, is a very ambitious uh, object to deal with. This is why I have an so... alternative route. If you, I, I okay. have uh, a, a suggestion here. Well, a, a first suggestion Super, is to use OLS and kill all the 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 observations that are killed by Poisson because they are. I mean, they they shouldn't be in the control group. Because they are not able to increase duties, so directly kill them. But there is a more, I think, a more elegant uh, way and probably more, uh, let's say, conducive to publication, which is to use the, the synthetic control groups, you know, with the diff in diff nice. methods. Now it's very fashion to use the synthetic control groups with uh, papers by Invens and by Alberto Badillo, Alberto Badillo and and co-authors and they basically what they use is okay i take every let's say observation in the in the control group and i, I weight them according to the similarity to the treated uh, municipalities in this case so probably those uh, that are killed by the by the poisson will have a weight of zero and the more similar the municipalities to the ones uh, of Montalbano will receive a weight very a very large weight. So I, I would say this is a, a a good way, and you can stay with OLS. So things will be easier because definitely fixed effects is something you you need to 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 have. And then, yeah, I understand. Uh, 
Go ahead, sorry. No, no, so, uh, well, we can chat anyway. In I mean, we can chat ourselves if you want. Uh, just uh, as a, I mean, if you have any doubts, just uh, we can arrange a meeting or whatever. And the second... So basically, your point, your point is about comparing, uh, is a more meaningful comparison between the OLS and IV. Is that right? The, between OLS and Poisson, you cannot compare them because OLS is, uh, let's say, contaminated by no, no, a lot, course, if I understood it properly, uh, but a lot of... of but a lot of uh, by a lot of, of municipalities without uh, other rooms or without possibility of having tourists. So you have probably an increasing trend of tourists everywhere, but in these specific uh, municipalities with zero, 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 zero all the time. So this appears the effect to be larger than actually is as we see in the Poisson. But having Poisson is a pain in the ass, so maybe you can, let's say, address this problem by either removing this from OLS yeah, yeah. or even better to using the synthetic control groups to reweight the control municipalities. Yes. And I have a concern, yeah. I think. The only, the only detail left is, uh, is about IV, because you can do so for plus for less, but not for IV. Uh, you can use the reduced form. The, for the IV, but the IV you use you use the IV a different setting. You don't use difference in difference with the IV, right? I mean, the IV is for, no, the, is for the development, the, not for this. If, in the first the set of IV results, IV you never... Report. Sorry? Yeah. No, no, no. But I mean, there are municipalities with... Uh, the, the, the problem still also applies with the IV because we have municipalities with, uh, with roughly no hotels in the IV. Ah, well probably you should remove them as well, right? But uh, with, with uh, my, my, my co-authors are super careful at obtaining all results with uh, a linear setting and with a Poisson, Poisson setting. The only problem with the Poisson is that if we want to absorb all the country municipality, sorry, all the countries municipality and time fix effects, Poisson uh, become, becomes a bit, uh, a bit cumbersome. However, I understand. I fully, I fully get the synthetic control group. Sorry, and you had another oh. point. Let me, let me shut up here. Yeah, well, the other point is is regarding the IV. I think, uh, I think you may have problems to sell your instrument because maybe the decision to go to more countries, which is basically to increase the share of countries, is driven by having noticed a development effect, meaning that probably you have some correlation between your instrument and your output. And uh, actually, the, the F of 33 is, is a bit uh, low, let's say, for the standards now. And actually, for my experience, when you have IV effects that increase by, I mean, you, these are 10 times larger, probably you have a problem with the IV. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's difficult to sell. And actually, one dollar uh, invested by tourists is twenty-two dollars in in income. Is quite a large effect, right? I mean, I, I would, I don't know, I, I would. It is, but it is in in absolute terms. But when we are, we were very obsessed about magnitudes. When you look at it in terms of in terms of averages, as magnitude is twenty percent. Which is uh, which is which is not so huge, but I agree with you that. Uh, so come again, try again. You say you your IV may not uh, may may so your IV may be plagued by the fact that uh, yeah the problem the I, I country think in which uh, the series is shot the are decision the most to developed, go to more example. sorry maybe in the scene. The decision to go to more countries, which is basically your IV, is the share of countries where the where the TV series is being broadcasted, right? So yes, the decision to 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 widen the range of countries uh, is probably influenced by by noticing some development in the so so it's actually af affecting the 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 output the why. I mean, if you if you see that things are going well, or you are getting uh, I mean, you are being developed because of the broadcaster. You say, okay, let's let's uh, increase the 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 speed to which I am uh, reaching new countries, right? So you say so. That, yeah, yeah, but it is. I, I understand, but this is demand supply. 
So demand supply, I mean, the Italian producer uh, can market its series, say to Argentina, Brazil, but then it is up to uh, the producer to decide whether to buy it oh, oh. And, and therefore to, to show it in say, Brazil. Okay, if it is entirely demand supply, then forget about my argument. I thought there was some combination, I mean, some, some effort no, you no, know, made from the supply not, side to increase the range. But if it is just... It is not it is entirely, high. but uh, it is not, and we cannot say to what extent it is, but uh, given that it is a small producer, Palomar, uh, which was uh, part, only partly supported by Italian, by the Italian State TV, um, we are not, and this is a point we should we should emphasize. I agree with you. We are not uh, talking about Warner Bros. Uh, or whatever Columbia. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. If you want to justify the instrument, you should try to argue that this uh, is ent entirely demand driven. Because if it is some, let's say, part on the supply, I don't know, is is a bit more more complicated to argue for the exogeneity of the instrument. And if I'm you combine you. this you. with the F of 33, and you combine this with the empirical fact that the coefficient is 10 times larger, I don't know if you better go for a you. different strategy rather than IB. I don't know. Maybe going for the OLS and having some I don't know, some checks about uh, the possible uh, confounders or the possible bias, some estimation of the bias with the Oster method or other methods or something. I don't know. Fully, fully well taken points the, for the series. By countries. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, yeah, super, 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 super good points. To, uh, I mean, in my opinion, the paper is, I mean, you have yeah. a very hot paper and uh, if Maybe the IB is like the more the weakest part, I would say. Because the other part you can totally with agree. the Poisson yeah. you you manage the thing. I, I propose this other way to manage the problem, but with the Poisson you 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 have a, a way to manage it. So to, totally agree. The idea is if somebody likes it, I think they're going to give us as hard a time as uh, as you as you have in simply after simply having a look at the at, the other specifications uh, ideally they will like the idea but i agree that uh, there are a number of loose ends thanks so much you're welcome okay so one euro spending uh, how much of the increase in income is uh, can be due to uh, the economy? Uh, I could say that uh, that uh, part of the economy was underground um, in recent years with the development of tourism. Actually, it's development because the economy is yeah. underground yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. It's... So you say this is a this may be a lower bound. I don't know or upper bound. I would say yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't know, but it's in fact because... below. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think the, the, one, this one, was one of. Yeah. I don't know yeah, when we talk about Sicily, the, the, the or South Southern Europe, uh, any uh, underground icon, underground economy become is, is an issue. So it's it's hard to get a handle as as as, as you as as we can. As, it's hard to get a handle as to whether it is a lower or an upper bound. Um, definitely, I think it's worth uh, um, at least uh, uh, a paragraph of discussion as to how to how, how one should put in context uh, this setting, uh, which is not in uh, on the shores of Denmark but on the shores of Sicily. Full agree. Okay. Uh, thank you a lot. I think that we have passed the time a lot. Uh, any comment that we can send to Marcelo, I think that we have time to address them personally. Okay. So thank you a lot, Marcelo. Thanks, everyone. And enjoy your kids. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. 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 Thank you.
Ciao. 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 Ciao.